What's up y'all, Nick here on the road heading to Bridgeport, Texas. Race day, when these automotive warriors put on their fire suits and set out to climb hills that to the naked eye look impossible. A lot of these drivers take it very well. Some of them want to be completely left alone, and I respect that. I want them to be at their best. I want them to hit that hill with everything that they brought to the table. For Stortz Racing, it had all come down to this, and he was ready. All right, we've got Jay Stewart should be coming up to the line next. Power. That's what happened. I've got a heavy right foot, and I've got to learn how to tame it with that buggy. Um, I'm used to Showstopper. Showstopper's engine was hurt pretty much all year last year, and I don't know how it made it. It just kept going. Um, but, you know, I just I put that thing in second gear, and I could just pretty much hold it most of the time. And So we do a lot of course racing before we even hit the hills, and, you know, that's where I lost all my time with them guys. I'm not saying I could compete really well on the hill, but I held my own. I mean, I did have a couple fourths, fifths, and a lot of sixth and seventh, which is good. Ford play is just a different machine. Um, I mean, it's it's 1,200 pounds lighter. It's like 970 horsepower and actually aspirated. You know, no no Whipple, no charger, no turbo, nothing. And when you step on the gas, it's instant response. It's there, you know. Um, so, and I, I, I told myself I was going to push really hard this year and, and, and be competitive, but i got to find that fine line. I've got to tame it down a bit, you know. I've got to complete the courses and then get faster as I go, I guess. It's a learning experience for me. The buggy works. The buggy's going to work. My first race at Mid-America when I had it out last year, thing pretty much worked flawlessly. It felt good. It felt like I didn't even have to drive it. I'm trying to push a little too hard right now, I guess. Came around the corner there and just laid it to the floor, and I let out before the first, let, or first jump. And then stab the gas again, but I probably didn't even touch the gas. Apparently. All right, Jay. We want to hear about your your thoughts. Oh man. <laughs> uh, on your first ride. Yeah. Um, woo. Yeah. I just. I don't know. I'm on a mission. I was on a mission this year to finish top five in all the series. You know, I just want to push harder, and um, I just feel like if I'm driving fast, I ain't driving fast enough. I kind of want to drive on edge, but I, a little too much there. Woo, woo. Um, Old trusty back at home, you know, she's she doesn't have all the power that this this Ford buggy has. Uh, Ford play is just it's mean. It's instant power. You know, you touch yeah. the throttle and it's there. And I, I got to find that fine line, get used to it. Um, the, the buggy works. I've just got to work with the buggy. You know. Yeah. Um, now I really wanted to hit this hill. I wanted to hit finish first hill, but they yeah. come and stop me. But uh, right now I think it's a fairly simple fix. Uh, probably find some few yeah. other things once we're in there. I actually sheared yeah. a boat out, bolt off of the front steering arm on the passenger side, so huh. uh, we'll see. If it makes you feel any better, um, I am now playing with the idea of creating a whole new award <laughs> in, in your honor. You're at the top of the list right now. I haven't. People are. Everyone is trying to help me decide what to name it. Some yeah. sort of like gymnastics, <laughs> aerial. Something yeah. award, acrobatic, it's fun to watch. Show. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. I've got best for show yeah. the last two years, and this series, and another series, and I, I'm, I'm, I, that's not what I'm going for, guys. I mean, it's cool and everything, but it gets darn expensive, and that's not what I'm going for. I, I, I want to get on the boxes.
That's so good, strong. That's nice. But I, it, it was a pretty rough hit. That's actually a harder hit, and I took it hawk fried the week before. It may not look like it, but that one, that one stunned me a bit. I felt it real good yesterday. We were at to strap the back axle up to the to the front to kind of get it together so I could at least cross the timers and make an attempt for the hill for some points. You know, I'm <laughs> it's uh, starting off the season not very good with two DNS, but it's a long season. I'll get her tamed down, and I'm still I'm still shooting for a top five in all the series. Jay had a rough weekend, but it wasn't over for Paraville. Daniel was up next for his second run, and he was already in a good place to be standing on the podium. I've been talking you up all weekend, saying you are the driver to watch this season. I hope so. I got a buggy, and I don't have no excuses this year. It's pretty <laughs> bad. So it. Uh, we talked a little bit about the handling and how this compares to the other buggy. Why don't you let everybody know, kind of tell them some things you've noticed about this one that maybe the other one didn't have or are Just different. Way more power, and it's smooth and way better than smoked out. Or I mean, I can't down that buggy. That buggy's done a lot of good for me too, but. This buggy is something else. When I get a little bit more time in it and start racing a little bit harder, I can get faster, and it's going to be a good season, I think. I'm going to push hard and try to keep getting on the boxes, and we're going to go like crazy. So, um, what, what what are the major things you've gone through this season with, again, like I said, looking at that buggy and the adjustments you've made at all? Just a lot of different things like uh, how to get a seat in there because obviously <laughs> Timmy's way smaller than me. So He's a little guy. We had to do that, and then I ended up uh, – went to Moonlight for a bounty hill and ended up busting a hole in my oil pan, so we had to get that fixed and a few other minor things. And I think we got it. I think we're good, and we're ready to rock and roll the rest of the season, and I'm really looking forward to this year. Like, I'm ready to race every weekend. I'm going to try to make a lot of races this year. So Good. It'll be pretty good. I want to thank my wife, though, but this is a ten-and-a-half-hour drive for us, so uh, her and my kids and uh, everybody that supports me and custom differentials and uh, Chris Winchell, Ben Duval uh, with Duval's Diesels and Denny Schischler, them guys literally keep my buggy together. If I break, they'll be working on it the next day so, to, so I can make all these races, so I really want to give a shout-out to all them guys. I appreciate everything they do for me. So. Yeah. And with that, the weekend was over. Heckley Racing ended up in third place. He was never more than eight seconds behind the leader, Tim Cameron. Jay has some things that he needs to work on, and he knows it. But he'll be back stronger than ever. All in all, it was a successful weekend right, for the Paraville Mafia. Alright guys, let's move on to the bouncer class. Hey, Daniel Heckley, why don't you come back on up to that box? Woo! Third place yeah, bouncer. Woo! Woo! Gotta watch this year. I want to thank the good Lord above and uh, Clyde for putting on an awesome uh, event out here. I want to thank my beautiful wife out there for following along and helping out and letting me do all this fun stuff. Uh, everybody helped out this weekend. I want to thank Jay and whoever helped me do stuff. Had a good time with Nick and everybody hanging out. So uh, look forward to the rest of the season. I'm going to be hopefully stiff competition if the helmet's good. Yes, sir. It, is good. <laughs> it is good. It is good. I stand up here. You took my third place from him, man. Uh, you'll get me next time, maybe. We'll take Chris and Heidi back home. They couldn't make it. All the spectators, everybody working here, putting it on. And see what we do in the big boy class. Thanks to Clyde. Y'all put on some cool events today. And, um, the guys helped him, he did a bunch of excavating work and put on a really cool course to the bottom. It, just, it slowed us down and made us fast in different spots and it was fun racing against these guys. The competition is through the roof right now and just got to push hard and collect points and thanks everybody else for me out. It means a lot. See you next time. I 
I basically want to thank the family for everybody for putting up with me. You know, it's a hectic, you know, work, work's hectic, and, you know, I get, hurry back to race, or hurry home to work on a buggy race, get up, get out the door to get travel, and then get fly home from a race real quick as fast as we can, you know, sometimes, and hop back in the truck and go right back to work on Sunday morning. Thanks, Cheryl and the kid, all my kids, you know, and Daniel always helping and traveling with us, and, you know, all my guys back at home, it seems like every weekend I bring them home crap to work on. Um, <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of them. We'd just like to thank Jay and his family for being a part of this episode, and we look forward to seeing y'all on the next one.